why it is a background in every XP spectrum. This is very, very conceptual information. If you look into this XPS spectrum for tungsten here, so we have also a background here. This background is increasing if we go toward the higher binding energy. Look at here also. This background is also increasing if you go toward the higher binding energy. Another important thing is, if you look into the Y axis, this means these are basically the number of electrons counted here. Number of electrons count, count per second here. So this means that this background is also at certain intensity here. This means that this background is also made from electrons. Basically, the XPS detector basically detect electrons. These electrons are basically comes from very thick region. Not let's suppose this. Let's divide this surface into three region here. One is this region, which is less than ten nanometer here, and we know that this uh, the when electrons come from here. So these electrons basically make the elastic collision and because of that elastic collision, no loss of energy and we get basically the photoelectron peaks here. This peaks from this 10, uh, 10 nanometer region here. Now look, let's see here this very, very thick region here in micro scale region. So in this region, the electron completely lost its energy because of inelastic collision. And many times, multitude of times collision here between different electrons, the electron with the atom. So finally, electron loss all of its energy and it's finish all of its energy here. Now let's come here. This the middle region here, just below the 10 nanometer. Here basically electron makes basically few inelastic collision, few inelastic. So this means that it lost some of its kinetic energy, some of its kinetic energy, not 100%, but some of its kinetic energy means 50% and in some cases maybe 70%. And those electrons eventually reach to the XPS detector, but the energy is not that high. So it just basically make the background here. You see here, this background is basically come from these electrons, from these uh, electron emits escape from this region and because of the less kinetic energy you see here because of the less kinetic energy uh, the, 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 the most of the uh, background is to, uh, the higher binding energy and we know that from conservation of uh, from conservation of uh, energy here that this is the photon energy and it is equivalent to the binding energy uh, plus the kinetic energy of the photoelectron and part of the work function, but this is constant value. So this means that if we in, this means that let's suppose this 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 photon energy is 100. So if we, if we have higher binding energy like the 80 here, so this kinetic energy of the electron will be 20. So we say that this photoelectron, this this electron basically make inelastic collision. So it lost some of its energy. It means it lost 80 percent of its energy. So this means let's suppose 20 percent of energy. So this means. The, the, these electrons contain very high binding energy. This is why this uh, background is basically the, the electron from this area uh, making high bi background, large background here that higher binding energy. So this was the, uh, the concept from my side. If you know better understanding, better concepts, so please do comment in the video and please subscribe my channel.